in defense of our president, we went to parliament and opened an ad hoc committee and said uh, a swimming pool is a fire pool. We have only swimming pool the yodat. Say chincha sati fire pool. U minister, u minister of police, ebi le kopenga selanga kiwala. U bona kuti lento bupko. Kunzi mu explain bupko kika logo. People have lost their careers because of that thing. Ya ye constitutional court. Ya ti si voter in two two weeks time. Wabu yu mkwen mkwen. Get judgment enjan. Wa better u president we tu wati. He's not fit for office. Sam nya mezel. Ene londo ay chuanga ndi mkuti is not fit for office. Ya ipalwe panti. He caught judgment. He lacho me a kum 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 I thought it was carried away by yourselves, guys. <laughs> uh, he saw your cameras, he got taken away, <laughs> and he said things he should not have said. Uh, to me, uh, it's an issue that we will have to deal with it internally, that when you lead, you count every word you say. If you don't, you catch fire. And, and, and I think it's something that you learn in the trade. As you grow in the trade, you understand that better. You can say things that uh, you are saying without being excited, but say things and explain things very well. For example, let me give you an example. He talked about a water pool, a fire pool. And I, I reminded comrades that we went to Nkandla. We saw that swimming pool. We came out, journalists ambushed us and asked, what did you see? We told journalists, this is a swimming pool. But because there's a lot of water, in case of fire, it can be used as a fire pool. We closed the case. Because it's a swimming pool with a lot of water. So that closed the case. I don't know why do you reopen that today. I can't understand it.